Mark, you got it. We're writing on Facebook. Yep, now we gotta be careful what I say. Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemont, and this is Christopher Dreams. Hey, and our guys. show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, you can give them a phone call at uh, 414 800 7585 or visit Um This is where you do all the rambling I typically do. Oh, yes, you can buy all your hockey gear, figure skating gear, referee gear, uh, casual skating gear, get your skate sharpened, Admiral's jerseys. You can get an Admiral's jersey like... Uh-oh. Ah. <laughs> this one right here. You can also get jersey customizations. Which you can put on the back of said jersey. Uh, you can also get NHL jerseys from all the teams in the Midwest. Like we said, uh, figure skaters, feel free to go there and get your skate sharpened. And I'm pretty sure they sell figure skates as well, don't they? Or is yep. it solely hockey? They sell both. I'm just making sure. I they also think... sell roller skates the, for uh, roller hockey. Yeah. So they sell those as well. Wow. So they got everybody covered. That's a great thing. Yep. They'll um, give you good customer service if you visit their store and hey, tell them we sent you. All right, so uh, tomorrow you can come out and support the guy above over. Uh, uh, I'm not used to it. Here, the Milwaukee Admiral. But mainly 15. support the people above him. Yes, but not with that. that um, yeah, don't get me yelled at. I was at. pointing at the sponsor, you dink. Yeah, I'm not mm. their sponsor. All right, the reason we're here tonight, uh, well, there is a massacre on uh, 34th Street. Ah, you like that? Yep. Um, now, the Predators destroyed the Islanders, uh, what was it, 8-3? Yep. Yeah. So, uh, shall I keep going? Stats. All right, uh, shots on goal were 30-24 uh, New York. The Islanders, I have to specify, uh, 52% on the face-off for uh, Islanders and the Predators were 48%. Uh, Predators were 2 for 5 on the power play, the Islanders were 1 for 2. Uh, the Predators had 18 penalty minutes and the Islanders, ouch, they had 34 penalty minutes. Uh, the Islanders out hit the uh, Predators 34-24. Block shots were 23-14 in favor of Nashville. Uh, giveaways were 18 for the Islanders and 14 for Predators. All right, go. All right, scoring in the first was Craig Smith with his third goal of the season with assist from Nick Benino, his ninth. And then uh, Brock Nelson scored in the second with his 12th unassisted. Then Derek Broussard scored his 8th with uh, Belavere, his 12th, uh, and Pollock, his 12th assist as well. That was on the power play. Then uh, Casey Sezikis scored his 5th with an assist for Mayfield, his 6th. That was shorthanded. Then Philip Forsberg scored his 12th with an assist from Matthias Eckholm, his 12th, and uh, Craig Smith, his 8th. Then Craig Smith got his 4th goal of the season with an assist from Torres, his 9th. Then Benito scored his 13th with an assist from Ekholm, his 13th. Then Rocco Grimaldi scored his 5th with an assist from Forsberg, his 12th. All right. Then Cal Yarncock scored his 12th with an assist from Ryan Johansson, his 14th, and Yakov Trendin, his 1st. Um, and then uh, Roman Yossi scored his 10th with an assist from Ellis, his 19th, and Yarncock's 12th. Then Ryan Johansson scored in his seventh, uh, with Ellis his twentieth and Roman Yossi his twenty-first. It's been a while since we've had a game with eleven goals total scored. Um, in net for the Priors was Pekka. You Pecor covered Johansson already. Yep. Okay, uh, in sure. net for the Priors was Pekka He stopped twenty-seven of thirty with a point nine zero zero save percentage. And uh, to start the game for the Islanders was uh, Thomas Grice. He stopped uh, 10 of 15 with a .667 save percentage. Then Simeon Varlamov stopped 6 of 9 with a .667 save percentage. Wait, they're identical? 
in the save percentage. Okay. Referees were Chris Schellinker and Trevor Hansen. God, I hope he wasn't one of the Hansons. Uh, uh, which ones? The hockey ones or the blonde-haired uh, singer ones? The singer ones. The hockey ones I can live with. Okay. Um, and then linesmen were Kyle Flemington and Scott Driscoll. Head coach for Nashville is Peter Laviolette. Uh, head coach for the New York Islanders is uh, longest-running head coach for the Predators to the current date, Barry Trotz. Uh, scratches for Nashville were Yannick Weber and Mikel Cranland. Scratches for the Islanders was Noah Dobson and Michael Del Cole. Three stars of the game were uh, Craig Smith, oh, oops, Phil Forsberg, then Cal Yarncroft, and then Craig Smith. Uh, shots on goal in the first period were 6 to 12 Islanders. Uh, shots in the, set, in the second period were 9 to 11 Islanders. Shots in the third were 9 to 7 Nashville. And that. Is Let's all get a recap we, of tonight's Preds game. All we got there for that. Um, up next, the for our schedule. The it, Admirals. Yep, is uh the mock whoops the Milwaukee Admirals, which I accidentally just clicked on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, tomorrow night at the UW Panther Arena, the Milwaukee Admirals take on the San Antonio Rampage. This is a 6 o'clock, no, this is a 7 o'clock puck drop, correct? Or is yes, it six? this is a 7 o'clock puck drop. All right. Well, the leading uh, point scorer for the Rampage is uh, Derek Pouillot, uh, 26 games played, 5 goals, 18 assists. Uh, then Nathan Walker, he has 23 games played, 12 goals, 10 assists. Uh, Mike uh, Vishani, uh, 29 games played, 15 goals, 6 assists. Uh, Jake Walvin, 29 games played, 4 goals and 12 assists. And then Jordan Cairo, uh, 16 games played, 9 goals, 6 assists. Um, currently... The Admirals, all right, the last time these two teams met was back on November 30th. The Admirals won 4-3. Um, uh, Admirals are currently 3-0 against the Rampage this year. Um, got their goalie stats, my friend? Yes, I do. Uh, their goalie stats are Billy Huso, who is their starting goaltender. He uh, has a 2.50 goals against average and a .910 save percentage. He has played in 20 games with a 8, 7, and 5 record. Um, he has 50 goals against and two shutouts. Their backup goaltender is Adam Wilcox. He has... Uh, Played in nine games with a 2.89 goals against average with uh, two wins, four losses, and three overtime losses. Um, he also has a .887 save percentage. His save percentage in the shootout is 500. His save, uh, Billy Husso's save percentage in the shootout is 8.33. That's all I got on that one. Would you like me to look at their standings real quick? Have it, have it. I'm just okay. Uh, actually, to buddy, I should warn you them about. All right. So today, actually, or yesterday, actually, Josh we uh, we uh, Weasley, uh, got called up from Toulouse from the ECHL. Um, Austin Pagansky was returned on uh, returned from uh, St. Louis, and Nathan Walker was re returned from St. Louis. Evan Fitzpatrick was sent to the Brampton ECHL team. So it's, to me, it sounds like they don't have an ECHL uh, team. Mike Vishoni has one goal and two assists in his last five. Um, and then Jordan Cairo has been called up. Hey. Uh, well, in that case, uh, besides, uh, well, Cairo, I guess, would technically, since he's gone, Austin Pagansky, 25 games played, three goals, 12 assists. Um, in their last 10 games, they are 2-5-2-1. Two, two, 
They are currently on a 0 4 0 and 1 uh, streak. That is not good. Yeah, this team has nobody that's red hot. It's basically a team effort to play as crappy as they've been lately. I'm sorry, but they've been playing bad. They're like almost dead last. Um, they're actually fifth because the oh, Wolves. Oh, damn, yeah. Because the Wolves, too. Grand Rapids, and Texas seem to be worse than they are. Ouch. No, I, I think maybe uh, Milwaukee's just a benefactor of a weak division this season. I'm like, starting... Why does everybody in our division stack up with the rest of our conference? Currently, yeah. we have Can't a... you look at the conference ranking and see who's like the best in the conference, like overall? Not outside of the playoffs, because heaven forbid San Antonio actually make the playoffs. Okay, so currently San Antonio would be in, Manitoba would be in, Ontario would be in, Iowa would be in, Rockford would be in, Stockton would be in, San Antonio, and obviously us. All right, so how many from our division in particular? Four. Really? Yeah. Wow. And San Antonio's barely in? Yeah. Yikes. Okay. So, yeah, our division, it's not really as stacked as we assumed, but Milwaukee's just eating them alive. However, when you play in the West, you have uh, Bak Bakersfield, who's 10, 11, 3, and 1. Which uh, ain't horrible, but they're not playoff bound. <laughs> uh, San Diego, who's 10, 11, 1, and 0. Um, and then San Jose, who's nine, thirteen, zero oh, and two, with twenty points, who's dead last in the league. Yeah. Actually, they're tied for dead last with the Binghamton Devils. You would think. If you you're... wouldn't want to be dead last, but hey, do they have that whole uh, uh, that whole uh, uh, draft format where the worse you are, the better you are? Not or in the, the age. Not in the age. Oh, that's right. HL, they don't have a draft. No. So what's the point? Mm. Yeah, I mean, like... Like, what's the point of playing like garbage if it ain't going to benefit your team? Um, I will say this. In the Admirals' last 10, they are 7-1-2. and two. And I suppose in the AHL, we should probably look at the NHL standings, and that'll give us a clue as to why certain teams are playing like garbage in the AHL. Because, you know, obviously, the better the NHL team does, typically the worse the AHL team does. Typically. Why is our thing frozen? Did it stop? No, we're good. It's sure? We're still oh, okay. live no, and going. So. I'm going to make sure because I don't want us to run into technical issues. It's been a while since we went live. Well, if it runs weird, we have the recording. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, technology. If we have the technology, we can fix it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, tonight's game was pretty one-sided. Like, it, it was it was boring. You know, had like one goal in the third or the first, like eight, or it seemed like eight goals in the second, and then like three in the third. All right. So currently, with tonight in the books, the Predators have just tied the Minnesota Wild. Woohoo! They're climbing up there. They're only they behind the, uh, Dallas and Calgary currently. For the wild card. And we have two games in hand against both. And after tonight, we'll still have two games in hand against Minnesota. Yeah, because Minnesota currently plays Vegas, which, if I'm not mistaken, that game started already. Yes, yeah, it started about a half hour ago. Scores one is uh, nothing, nothing. Ah. Uh, currently, Winnipeg is losing to uh, Carolina 6-3. Yeah, but I'd say we pretty much covered it. But come on out tomorrow to the Panther Arena. Yeah, but Unless it's a you uh, spent five million bucks on box tickets against uh, LeBron, who I heard ain't even gonna be here tomorrow. Nope, he ain't gonna play. So he... if you guys have tickets to the box game tomorrow, don't go. LeBron ain't gonna be there. Go to the Admiral game. Sell your box tickets. Trust me, you'll see Giannis all year long. You can live if you don't get to see him one game. Yep, and Giannis looks like he's going to sign that Supermax, so it's going to be like 12 years. And Hell, He ain't going nowhere. He likes it here, so don't panic. You know, Giannis ain't on his way out the door, Bucks fans. So you can always go across the street to the Panther Arena. The Admirals have a good hockey team. 
Yep. Just throwing it out there, they do have a good hockey team, and it's cheaper than the Bucks Arena. Unless you've never been to the arena, then go check out the new arena. But other than that, if you've been there before, eh, go somewhere else. Yep. If you've never been there before, and unless they're giving something away, which we would be unaware of. Yeah, right, because I haven't been there for an event. I've only worked there like four times. So uh, this has been From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodmo. I'm this, Christopher Dre. This is Christopher Dre, and we will see you guys later. Um, hello to our one viewer. Hey, sorry you caught us at the end, but hey. Yes, hello. Um, if, if you're going to speak with, if you want to hear from us or say hello, please say hello before we end this. So, hi. Yep. All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow. And go to Hockey Lock. I can't stress that enough. Go to Hockey Lock. Yes. Wait, let me, uh, now you can say that since I pulled the, uh, uh All right, go to here. Hockey Locker. I can't stress that enough. So this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by Hockey Locker, um, 1202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, we are a hockey podcast that covers everything, Admirals, Pairs, and Florida Everglades related. Peace. All right, see you tomorrow. Um, I must wait. Kill it. Are you serious? It's still snowing? Yeah. How many inches are we supposed to get tonight? Because this is like the first, this is like uh, one of three significant snowfalls. We